My name is Senator Jen Fleming, and as the co-chair of the Women's Caucus, we're proud to stand here today to bring awareness to this important issue, but most importantly, to educate the people of Massachusetts, to let them know that this is happening here in our backyards. This it's my distinct honor to now introduce Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito, who chairs the Governor's Council to address sexual assault and domestic violence. She has been a champion in actively searching for steps to assist victims of sexual assault and domestic violence. And under the council, there's a human trafficking working group to dive into it even further. Uh, I was just saying to one among us that this uh, reminds me of the issue of addiction. And as you know, two years ago when the governor and I came into office, uh, we pushed forward with becoming a state without stigma and changing the conversation from uh, being addicted as one of a health issue, as opposed to an issue of someone being addicted because of a character flaw. It's a very similar discussion that we need to have far more openly about human trafficking. That there are victims and survivors among us, and that they need to be supported in this whole conversation and process. Last February, uh, we did a number of things just to get uh, ourselves as an administration focused on this issue. And I come to this room uh, to continue to learn and work with you as there's more work to do. One of the first things that we did in working with our Secretary of Public Safety, and I see Jen Quirley uh, is here under Secretary Quirley, uh, was to uh, work with our state police unit. And I see Pi uh, Downsboro here in the room. And we uh, activated a high-risk uh, victim unit uh, specifically focused on human trafficking and its connection, connection to children and to our Department of Children and Families here in our Commonwealth. Uh, Detective Downsboro uh, uh, comes with a, a vast amount of knowledge and experience in this area and is doing incredible work over the past year that she's been focused on this issue. Uh, our governor also signed an executive order that was 568 which stated unequivocally that there is a zero tolerance policy for human trafficking and related activities here in our Commonwealth. And we, in the Sexual Assault and Domestic Violence Council, many of whom are in this room, have initiated the first ever for this council, and I believe this Commonwealth, a human trafficking work group uh, focused on uh, children and youth in our Commonwealth. And our administration is here to support you with the resources and the policies and the tools that you need to be successful. Now, therefore, our governor and me, as your lieutenant governor, do hereby proclaim January 2017 to be National Slavery and Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Thank you for your leadership. Your presentation. Thank you.